So hello everyone in this video we'll be understanding how we can deploy a Next.js application on an Amazon Lightsail. So basically it is very easy you just have to understand some of the basic things. Uh, I have already created a Next.js demo application which you can see here. I created this application with the help of npx create next app command that you can also do. And if you have any application, any Next.js application you have, that is also fine. For demo purposes, I'll be using this demo application, which is being created or which is already created. Now for running this, I can easily use the npm start command. But in your application, you cannot do this because you should have a production build that you want to host on the Amazon or deployment server. So basically this build you will get after writing the command npm run build. So whatever your application, you just have to write this npm run build command. Then that will give you this next.js folder, which is a production build that will be hosting. So I can just write npm start here. And then that should start my server on a port number 3000 that I can do. You can see we have this demo application. Uh, you can close the other tabs. And to run this application on a different port, we'll just be changing the port number here in this start script. You can see we have this next start command. After that, if you want to run this application on a different port number, because sometimes it happens that in the development so in the deployment server. Uh, this 3000 is reserved for any other application. In my case, it is there. That's why I'm changing this to 5050. This 5050 port will be the port on which this application will be running on the production server as well. So let me just uh, run this locally and show you on which port it is running now. I can execute the same command npm start. Then that should start my application on 5050. Now, if I run this application, you can see we have this application on 5050 port number. Now, this is my application that I'll be hosting on a Lightsail server. For that, you have to just go to your Lightsail interface where you will be having all these instances you have. Uh, for creating instance, you can directly go to this create instance uh, button. And inside that you can decide which instance you want according to your need and you can pay for that then that will be created I don't want to create that so I'll be using my old instances that I have so I'll be using this instance which has this 1 GB RAM and 1 CPU and 40 GB SSD let's go inside that and the first thing you have to do inside your instance is in the networking you have to open the port on which you will be running your application that is a very important step you have to make so you can see i have already created a 5050 port number or i have already opened this port for running my application and you can see other ports are also there so in one instance you can uh, run many applications if you have enough ram and the other configurations so for opening a port number you can click on this add rule button inside that you can specify on which port you will be running your application you can type any port number here i have this i have opened this port and you can click on this create button i don't want to uh, add it now because i have already added so you can do this thing so after opening the port you'll see your port number here in my case it is 5050 now after that you can go to the connect tab inside that you uh, have to connect using ssh you can create that and for transferring your uh, directory files uh, we can use filezilla which is an application through which we can transfer our files to this lightsail server so we can also use the github repository and we can clone that in the command line but i'll not be using that because that is more stuff to do we'll be just using this filezilla pro you can 
uh, learn about this software and if you have some issues you can comment down we'll be making another video for this filezilla pro software that how we can connect with light sale and transfer the files you just have to provide your uh, ssh configuration key file then that will be added to this uh, i can connect to my instance by using this uh, tab which is uh, aws dashboard this is the instance name that i want to connect to and inside that we'll be having you can see we have listed all the directories so all these directories are inside my instance on which we open the port you just have to go to htdocs folder inside that you have to uh, run all your application or like all the folders of your applications which you are running should be inside this because that will be a good way to manage all the applications inside that you can see i have many applications uh, there and i'm running on them on different ports now the application we want to have already paste, copy pasted all the things in there to save the time so don't worry you just have to create one directory here by right clicking on this uh, instance and clicking on this create directory option inside that you can write the folder name that you want to paste or create and then inside that you can paste all the application data in my case i have created next.js demo inside that I have pasted all the things here. You can see uh, we have this next build folder and the pages, public styles and the other things, which I can grab it from here. If your production build is very large in size, so you can leave this uh, next yes and get and this not modules folder. We can create the build on the production server as well. I'll be showing you that. The things which are important that you have to transfer to this uh, folder is pages public styles and the other files so we can just paste them with the help of i can select them and unselect them and i can right click and upload the all these files so i've already uploaded so don't worry it will not take time so after uploading let's say you don't have this node modules folder and next folder what you will be doing this you can go to your instance by using connect using ssh it will give you a terminal like thing inside that you can write some commands uh, like npm run build and uh, npm install all the other things for getting the node modules folder and the dependencies i can in here go to the stdocs folder if i do ls here you can see it is listing all the application folders which i have i can go to my application folder which is next.js uh, next.js demo inside that you can write your command for like creating production build you can write npm run build and for installing you can write npm install but the thing that you have to remember is if you write npm start here so that will not be a persisting application that will be running so you have to make sure you run this application with the help of pm2 package so pm2 will run this application forever it will not stop that until any error occurs or until your application crashes so you have to use this package pm2 pm2 and inside that you have to write npm uh, pm2 start command and for running uh, npm uh, kind of operations or like commands you just have to write npm here and after that you can specify the process name that will be executed in this pm2 start npm so you can write the name here so i can write npm dash dash name and i can specify the name here and in the double quotes you have to specify the name after that you can specify dash dash and you have to give this a space remember and after that you can write start command after executing this command let's say i have this application called next demo i have already started that so you don't have to worry about it so this uh, process you want to create that is that will be running on our production server for forever after that if you press enter so it will execute or it will run our application on this light sale server for forever 
if I write this command pm2 logs so that will give you the log of the running application and if you write pm2 status here or pm2 status so it will give you all the applications which are running and online and how much memory they are using you can see we have this next year's demo application which is running and it is using this much memory now if I go to uh, if I see this page like uh, how can I see this application it is very easy you just have to copy this uh, IP number and after that you have to paste it inside your browser and after that you have to specify the port number on, on which uh, you were running this application so it was 5050 how that application got this port number because we specified that in our package.json file that you want to run this application on 5050 and we also opened that port in the instance right so we just have to click and uh, enter here and then that application should be visible to us you can see we have this welcome to next year's application on this instance we can also add SSH connections there and we can also add our domain name if you want that is some other topic we will not be covering inside this video so now we can see we have a local host 5050 application also we have this uh, global application which you can share with your friends if you share this uh, complete URL to your friend that will all, he will also be able to see this application uh, right now this is a normal application you can create any kind of application whatever it is you just have to remember all the steps you, I have told you if you have any problem or any issue you can comment down we'll definitely be replying to that and we'll be solving that thank you for watching this video Let's meet in the next one.